My dear friends, today I want to speak from the topic trauma. What is trauma? According to Google, trauma is an emotional response to a terrible event like an accident, rape, or natural disaster. In my own opinion, trauma is how we react to things, events, tragedies, and experiences of life. Trauma for me could also be defined as the effects and the result of bad things that happen to us in the journey of life. How we are impacted by things we encountered, experienced, and witnessed. How we have been affected and how what we go through in life affects us on both short-term and long-term basis. For me, these three definitions above reflect and suggest how I personally understand trauma. What causes trauma? There is no smoke without fire. There is no effect without a cause. So therefore, trauma does not just surface. There are causes of trauma. There are things that give birth to trauma. There are experiences, events, tragedies, circumstances that can bring about trauma. What people see witness, hear, experience, smell, can cause them trauma. Trauma can come from interpersonal relationships. Trauma can come from our daily relationships and interactions. Other causes of trauma include bully, rape, abuse, both physical and sexual abuse, accident, road rage, domestic violence, mass shooting, violence, natural disasters like typhoon, hurricane, blizzard, earthquake, tsunami, loss, death of a loved one, divorce, sickness or illness, and indeed other things. There is what is called re-traumatization. Now, people could be traumatized again and again by multiple factors. Same things, People, situation, and experiences could traumatize a person multiple times. Trauma could be reignited by a repetition of the same event, experience, or circumstance. Already existing trauma could be triggered. There are buttons that could be pushed that has the capacity of re-traumatization. For example, when a woman suffers domestic violence from her husband, seeing violence, maybe in a movie or in actual life, could bring the trauma back. Another example, maybe a female lawyer or attorney who was sexually abused as a child could experience re-traumatization when handling a legal case of an abuse of a minor. Re-traumatization, unfortunately, happens over and over again because we are beings that recall. We remember, we forgive, but we don't forget. We have memories, and therefore every now and then we see or hear things that made us look back at our experiences and journey. What are the effects of trauma? Trauma affects how we behave. Trauma affects how we live. Trauma affects how we relate to people. Trauma can affect relationships. Trauma can affect how we see life. Trauma can affect our self-esteem. Trauma can cause us anxiety and panic attacks. Trauma can lead to anger. Trauma could lead to depression and suicide. Trauma could make people lose trust. Trauma can have a long-term and short-term consequences. Trauma could lead to hate. Trauma affects people's choices and decisions in life. Trauma could make people build walls around themselves. Trauma could make people insecure and defensive. This is why we should not judge people because we do not know their story and how they ended up behaving the way they do. We have to be patient with people, try to be more understanding and compassionate. People don't just do things from a vacuum. There is always a cause and a reason behind the why of people's actions. When looking at people, take into consideration their past experiences. People's past plays a very big role in their present. 
be caring enough to know, to inquire, to ask questions and to probe. We don't have to be nosy or appear to be interested in people's personal or private lives, but asking questions like, help me to understand. Let me know where you are coming from. I want to know more if you don't mind. Tell me more about it and related or similar questions. How do we deal with trauma? Number one, treatment. Seek treatment from professionals within your area. Number two, medication could help in dealing with trauma. Do not self-medicate. Seek the help, guidance, and direction of professionals. Number three, counseling. Go for counseling. Number four, seek help. Realize the fact that you need help and have the courage to ask for help. Seek help. If you don't find or seek help, you cannot find one. Make that effort. Number five, find someone you can talk to. You don't have to die in silence. Number six, forgive and let go. Forgive yourself, forgive others. Number seven, you have the power the freedom and liberty to choose how you react to the trauma. You can either allow it to break you or build you up. You can choose to turn it around into something positive and good. Your trauma could be your stepping stone to greatness, success, and fulfillment. For people of faith, I will suggest prayers. Prayer is powerful. I believe in the power of prayer. One small prayer could make a big difference. I never underestimate the power of prayer. God is more powerful than any trauma. Nothing is impossible with God. God can take away and heal every trauma. Number nine, power of positive declarations and confessions. Wake up every day and declare, I am healed, I am victorious, I am a conqueror. I will be fine. It shall be well with me. I am special. I am beautiful. I am smart. I am wonderful. I am the best. I am one of a kind. I am a masterpiece. I am loved by God. I am bigger than every trauma. I will make it through. I will succeed and so on and so forth. There is power in the tongue. Declare it with your mouth and it shall come to pass. There is power in the spoken word. Speak life into your life. Speak blessings unto yourself. Speak positive words about yourself. Shun negative words from your mouth. Stop replaying negativity in your mind. Think positively. Speak positively. Attract positive vibes to your life. Number 10, practice self-care. It is not a bad idea to take good care of yourself. Other remarks. Life happens. Life can be unfair. Life is tough. Sometimes life throws stuff on our face. There are things we have no control of. We cannot control what happens to us in life or what comes our way, but we can control how we react and respond to what happens to us. We can choose to allow whatever happens to us in life to make us or to break us. We can choose to be better or to be better. Wake up every day and make a choice that no matter what happens to me in life, nothing can take away my joy and my happiness. Let your words be. I choose to enjoy life. I choose to live my best life. I choose to forgive the hurts in my life. I choose to live in freedom. I choose to live a liberated life. I choose not to dwell in the past. I choose to love rather than to hate. I choose positivity over negativity. I choose to see the opportunity in the problem rather than seeing problem in every opportunity. I choose to be better. I choose not to make excuses. I refuse to carry a chip on my shoulder. I refuse to go about complaining. I refuse to be angry. I rather choose to trust God. I rather choose to make the best out of a bad situation. I rather choose to turn around what was meant for my harm into my good. I believe in the word of God that all things work for good 
to them that love God, be it the good, the bad, and the ugly. I trust God that he will give me beauty for my ashes. I believe the word of God that the dry bones in my life shall rise again. I trust God for my comeback. God has made me beautiful. God has made me handsome and special. I am not going to give up. I am not going to allow any situation, circumstance, or experience defeat me. I am more than a conqueror. I am a victor, not a victim. I know whose I am. I know whom I belong to. I know who my father is. No weapon fashioned against me shall succeed. The devil is a liar. I am one of a kind. I am a masterpiece. I am a beloved child of God. Life may have knocked me down. With God still on the throne, I shall rise up again. It has not come to stay. It has rather come to pass. If I can go through it, I will get through it. It is only temporary. This is not how my life will end. Greater things lie ahead of me. What is before me is bigger, better, and glorious. My past may be dark, but my future is filled with light and brightness. I choose to keep hope alive. Because my God lives, I can face tomorrow. Even in my struggles, I will still honor and praise God. I will continue to worship and serve God, even in my own struggles and pain. I choose to help others. I will never repay evil for evil. I will repay evil with good. I accept whatever God allows to happen in my life. I will use my situation, condition, and circumstances to honor God. I give it all to God. He knows how to use it for my good. If it pleases God, it pleases me as well. I can never be mad at what I cannot control. I don't want to live a stressed life. I don't want to be under pressure. I understand that life is a battle. I understand that life is not perfect. Each one of us have our own battles. Everyone has their own demons. I don't claim to be better than anyone. I will enjoy life as much as I can. I am filled with inner joy. Everyone has a story to tell. I am not an exception to that. I wake up every day and hope for the best. Whatever God allows my way, I choose to believe he is aware of it. My trauma will not define me. I'm not going to be defined by my trauma. I am not a sum total of my trauma. I want to end with a quote from the scriptures taken from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 43, from verses 18 to 19. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Once again, a quote from the scriptures taken from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 43, from verses 18 to 19. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Thank you for listening, and may God bless you.